Hi guys, today I'm taking on another little project. Got my paint clothes on already. I'll explain what I'm doing. I'm doing a little DIY kitchen glow up. This is gonna take me a couple of days. My last video, I shared with you guys my pantry and we fully gutted it, painted it, put that little wood shelf in there. I love it so much and this has just inspired me to tackle some other things in our house. So usually when you buy a house, it's not exactly your style, right? I guess unless you built it yourself or something. So there's a few things in this house when we bought it that we knew we wanted to remodel. One is the kitchen. It's going to be a more costly project though, so it's not something we're willing to take on just yet. We will probably take on that project within the next year or so. In the meantime, it's not a terrible kitchen. It functions great. I mean, I have a pantry, which I'm clearly obsessed with. We do have like nice granite countertops and the appliances are really nice, but ever since we bought the house, I just knew that it wasn't completely my style. So in the meantime, a couple things we've done. We added some bar stools that I really love those. These are things that I've shared in recent videos. We took that metal off the front of this and shiplapped it. Behind the cabinets used to be black and it was like this peel and stick thing. So we peeled that off. One thing that I really feel like makes the kitchen feel a little dark and gloomy is the backsplash. I don't always hate a black backsplash, but in this kitchen, I just don't love it. And you know what, if you don't love it, you do something about it. Actually, somebody in a recent video had even said, like, why don't you paint your backsplash? And I'm like, yeah, I'm actually surprised I haven't tried to do that yet. This is just gonna be a really affordable way to make the kitchen feel a little bit more my style. All of the cabinets are actually white, as you can tell, except for these upper cabinets right here. They are white, except for the very front of them. I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen cabinets like this in a kitchen where it's like this silvery color. I would also like to paint this, and then I'd also like to spray paint the handles. I already got all my materials and everything. I also want to change that blind right there. And then I bought a faucet off of Amazon. I bought the same faucet at our old house for our laundry room and I thought it worked great. I've spent $500 on a kitchen faucet before and then I've spent $50 on a faucet before. And honestly, this one from Amazon that I've purchased before is really good. It's black and I think it'll be really nice. This one, it's not terrible but it does have like a, I don't know if you can tell, it has like a dent right here. I just think it'll make the space look a little bit nicer with a different faucet. I really like sharing things like this because from what I can tell in the comments, it inspires you guys to tackle a project that you might be putting off or tackle something that maybe you don't love in your house and just changing it in a really simple way, even just with spray paint or something. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am so excited for a little transformation that's gonna be happening. And because it's already, oh my goodness. Okay, and because it's really late in the day, I'm not gonna get very much done. It's literally six o'clock. I've been gone all day. But I knew I for sure wanted to at least get started on this project today because I know it's gonna take me a few days. I want to start with the cabinet poles because I'm gonna be spray painting them. Spray painting these poles, I know I'm gonna wanna do a really light coat on all of them. So it actually might take me like three or four coats of spray paint to really get it how I want. And I also know because I'm going to be using these every day to open the cabinets that I'm really gonna want to give the, why is this coming out? I really wanna give the cabinet poles time to cure before I start using them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was one. We have like 30 to go. So I'm gonna get these all off and then I may start spray painting them today or at least get like a coat on them. We'll see. Okay, I have some overhead lighting on now, but I took all of the covers off, all the outlets, 
did not realize, you know, we have a lot more outlets than I realized in here. And taped everything off, got it all protected, all that good stuff. All of the pulls are currently in the garage. I've got a couple coats on those. I'll show you guys in a little bit what I used on those. But this is what they suggested I use when I was at Lowe's. So this is all from Lowe's. This is going to be the primer I use on this. So it says ideal for tile. Also, if you're planning on doing a project like this, look up what kind of tile you have. Some tiles you're supposed to sand them, some you're not. So this, I don't necessarily really need to sand it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna use this primer and then I'm going to use this. This is a semi-gloss ultra white paint from Lowe's. And it's funny, I actually asked for a quart and they gave me this gallon, but that's okay. Cause I might need it. So it's fine. And I think I'm actually just going to use whatever I've left over on the cabinets right here. So I've got all that taped off and yeah, I won't have to do the sides or anything cause those are white already. And then I got these rollers here. They're little foam rollers and they're for like really smooth surfaces and stuff. So that's what I got for there. Gonna get a coat on, probably do, whoa. Sorry guys, the lighting is not great, but gonna get a coat on today and maybe finish it up. Hopefully, at least the painting tomorrow. on the kitchen I'll show you guys my progress so far I have the backsplash all primered and then I've also been working on the cabinets too you can tell they're not silver anymore so this is just the primer I think things are going good let me show you guys the faucet I bought from Amazon this is the same one I got at my last house for when we did our laundry room remodel. It's actually really, really nice looking. Okay, it's just a black faucet with a sprayer. I think this was like $70 for everything. There's also, where is it? There's supposed to be, oh right here a little soap dispenser I got this too with it because there's a sprayer on this sink and then the new faucet has a sprayer on it so I'm really excited about that I think that'll look really nice I feel like it's already looking so much different in here just with those little changes so far. Let me go out to the garage too and give you guys a little overview of our pulls. Here's all the pulls. I think they're looking really good. I've done like four coats. It was raining outside so I couldn't do it outside. This is the spray paint I used. It's good for wood, metal, plastic, masonry. So it sticks really well to that kind of stuff. So that was nice. Just in black. So I'm just waiting for these to dry. I think that was my last coat. We'll see once they're more dry and I'll take a better look. But I think, I think they should be good. And then once the pulls are dry, I might add this on the top of it because it's just clear, but we'll see. We'll see if it needs it. So now I'm going to get started with like my first coat on the backsplash today. And I'm gonna be using this, which I showed you guys. The foam rollers for a really smooth finish. It's really glossy too, so I think that'll help. So we might need two, three coats, we'll see. working 
around the kitchen. Of course, these projects always just end up being a little longer than you think. Here is my update. Last night at like 10 o'clock at night, I ended up rolling the tile out again. And like I showed you guys before, I've been using this semi-gloss. And then last night, I noticed it's not very shiny. It is a little shiny, but definitely not as shiny as I wanted it because real tile backsplashes typically are pretty shiny. I just thought that would make it look a little more real than just look like I painted it. So I don't know. I actually really don't know why I ended up getting the semi-gloss because when I was reading a blog, she used a semi-gloss and in my head I was like, oh, get glossier than that. <laughs> But I did it, so now I went back to Lowe's and I grabbed this and this was like the glossiest poly that they had. And I've already started applying that to this area. I'm already really liking it, so I'm just working my way, working my way around. The cabinets, that's another thing. I was using the semi-gloss on that, and last night I was looking at it, and I really didn't like it. I ended up grabbing, same color, ultra white and same kind of paint, but I ended up grabbing a flat. So I'm going to put that over, over that today. We'll see how that goes, too. Also, if I can, I may try to get this... This is like a sticker over the glass. I might might try to take that off. So we'll see. A lot of things still to come. Then, of course, I went to Target because I have a problem. And grabbed a few things from there. Grabbed some new dish towels for the new kitchen once it's done. A lot of, like, beige items, if you can tell. Um, grabbed this. I thought that was cool. It's a little serving tray. I feel like this would be great for like a taco night too because you could put like all your different toppings in here. It would be great for a lot of things. I just thought that was cute. And then I got this little organizational rack thing. This is that Bright Room brand too. And then everything else is just like deodorant and random stuff. I feel like this entire house was very, very cool toned when we bought it. So bringing in some of those warmer pieces, the wood items, I think that's just going to... I think it's gonna help just warm up the space a little bit. I know the counter top, top is still very like cool toned, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna make it our own. 9:21 p.m. Look at what he's doing, folks. Putting in the new faucet. So far, so good. And then there'll be a little soap dispenser right there. I like it. She found a piece. The tape was getting stuck to this crap. Oh boy. Oh, oh. wait, it's getting stuck in there. Are you liking it? Yeah. Oops, I wasn't. <laughs> What? I was more interested in watching than watching the camera. <laughs> oh boy. Am I gonna break something? I don't know. I'm getting scared. I'll help. I'm turning off the camera. Today is my big kitchen reveal. We've had it like this for a few days now. And I just absolutely love it. I was actually telling Joshua, I was like, maybe we won't even need to do a kitchen remodel anymore because i just really like this now so i'll have to keep you guys updated share with you kind of how things are holding up too like with the paint on the tile and all that but here is a little tour of everything now you remember what it looked like before and here is the after Okay, it's another gloomy day. I, guys, I swear the entire time that I've been filming this video, like the entire week, it's just been gloomy. We never really got any good natural lighting to share with you the kitchen, but I'll take you guys through, show you everything. As you can see, the cabinet pulls are spray painted black now, which I love and they seem to be holding up really well so far. 
I feel like you can't even tell that they're spray painted. And I did end up putting a coat of that like polycrylic stuff over it. So anyway, I feel like that's holding up really well. The backsplash, that's probably the biggest change in here, I would say, is the backsplash being white now. I'm so glad I grabbed that poly. It was a little bit glossier to put over the paint. If I didn't do that, or if you guys are going to do a project like this, I would suggest just getting like a super glossy paint instead of semi-gloss, semi what I originally did. Yeah, you can kind of see. Here, I'll give you a little, here's Bandit, a um, little close up of the tile. And then I ended up caulking too. It needed a little caulk, so I caulked around, but I feel like you really wouldn't be able to tell that this is painted at all. Like nobody would really know. Um, there's a couple spots, like if I got close or something, I could see couple brush strokes or something but nothing noticeable I really really like it I really don't think anybody would be able to tell that it's painted um, and then one of the last clips we were trying to get this peel and stick thing off of all of the cabinet doors and oh my goodness that night it was late but once Joshua and I actually got that sticky stuff off we were like oh my goodness we love it. So I tried to make, especially this cabinet, it's like the bigger cabinet, I tried to make it look cute in there. A um, couple new Target items on top, little cake stand and that condiment thing. And then my little organizer right there. But there's just a few random dishes I have. This cabinet over here, I actually just have all clear items in. And then these over here, because everything is visible now, I of course want to make it look super cute now. These over here, I would like to do a little rearranging with. This one especially, I gotta figure out what we're, what we're doing. We're lost in here. Um, I got this. But, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna put all of these in a drawer. And, I don't know, just try to make this look better. I showed these recently in a video, these spice jars. I have yet to actually tackle this project. And I bought these from Amazon, all of the little labels. They're like the matching ones to the ones that I have in my pantry. So maybe this will be my next video. My next video might be some kitchen organization because the drawers and everything could use a little bit of help in here. That'll probably be the next video. But let's see, what else did we do in here? As you can tell, I've tried to add a few more just like um, creamier or brown tones in here. Everything is from Target. It was just like a quick little quick little thing got these little towels from Target that I think are adorable I'll try to link some things the pan I already had obviously um, this is new how pretty is that I just really liked the color of it I thought it was pretty and then just add a little green in here so have that in the window and then I found this in Target too this was just a little what is this called trinket tray this was in might have even been bathroom items, but I liked the color and then I just thought this was nice if I have any jewelry on while I'm washing dishes, I can just set it there. And then, sorry, the light is coming in right here, so this is going to be dark, but uh, let's see. We changed out the blind in here to this one from Lowe's. Super easy little switch up just went to Lowe's they already had these there and they cut them right in store and it was like a hundred dollars for the new shade I think that was probably the most expensive thing I did for this little kitchen glow up was probably buy that shade um I probably could have done more research and stuff but just to get it now I went to Lowe's they cut it right there for me and Joshua had it hung in just a couple of minutes, so that was really nice. And then the faucet, we are loving it. It's so nice. And 
yeah I like it a lot better than the one that was here before so love that I think that was a really easy way to make it look a little sleeker in here in our little soap thing so if you get the one that doesn't have the soap dispenser it'll be a little bit cheaper but yeah I'm trying to think if there was anything else I changed up in here I think that was pretty much it just the cabinets have some paint on them on the front pulls backsplash a few new cute items this rug is new too of course Target like everything but it's very comfortable it's like a kitchen mat like I said I'll try to link things for you guys I also think that the kitchen just flows so much better with my remodeled pantry now too and if you guys missed that video make sure to check it out because that was a huge transformation as well but yeah I think it just flows better and I'm very very happy with it this is the finished product and I absolutely love it it makes me so happy to be in here and make it feel a little bit more my style so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was fun to watch the transformation and i hope it gave you guys a little inspiration i am in full spring cleaning mode so my next video is probably going to be a little bit of organization in here i think that's kind of what i want to tackle next like i said i'll have links down below for you guys of some new cute items that i had bought for this kitchen project and then all of the products that I use to paint the tile and things like that that'll be linked down below too. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video.